We're at the Arb Show 2019. I'm at the Multi One stand with Steve again. Nice to meet you, mate. Hiya, nice well, to meet you. I've seen last year, obviously. Um, we're here to look at the EZ7. So, uh, Matt, the EZ7, EZ, emission zero. Yeah. Seven series, so it's based on our seven series chassis. Mm -hmm. So if you take a, a 7.2 or a 7.3 multi one, same structure, same boom, same pop lane drive system. But because it's an emission zero, it's now a battery powered machine, no engine, full battery, rechargeable, okay. um, and, and obviously running on a different system. Right. So first off, where's the batteries then? Okay, batteries <laughs> are around the back end of the machine. So right. where the engine would go, we now have a, a, a battery system in there. Do you, do you want to take okay, a look? Yeah, let's have a look, yeah. So this is a 48 volt, 350 amp hour, lead acid battery pack. Right. Okay, so that's our EZ7 battery pack. Um, very shortly, a little bit later in, in the year, back end of the summer, we'll introduce the EZ8, which is a lithium version of the same. Right, okay. The whole machine stays the same. The systems for all the machine, the way the motors work stays the same, but we change out to a lithium battery pack and slight tweaks to the control system. What's the difference between the battery packs then? Is it just an upgrade or it? Um, well, basically, a lead acid battery pack is, is a, a cost effective okay. choice. A lithium battery pack is a more expensive choice. Right. Um, lithium gives you the ability to uh, have a, a high duty cycle, a long, a long duration of use from a battery charge, mm -hmm. and also very fast recharge times. Right. So you'll typically be able to get 80% charge back into a battery within one hour and a full charge within about three and a half hours. With the lithium? With lithium. Okay. So if you're going to use a machine extensively, throughout the day and maybe even into more than one shift, you've got the ability to opportune charge with lithium. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it's okay. horses for courses at the end of the day. Right. How long would this take to charge then? Uh, the full charge time for this battery pack is six and a half hours, right. which is particularly quick. There's a 60 amp, uh, 60 amp hour built-in charger on the machine. So all you do is go to a charging point, plug into the wall. Right. Um, there's no separate charger needed. Mm -hmm. And that's a fast uh, recharge time for a, for a lead acid battery. Right. Uh, typically you see lead acid batteries of anything from 8 to 12 hours recharge, so we've got a really, so really fast cycle time, of charge it, time. Yeah. 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 And where do you charge it up? Okay, Maybe just uh, literally, uh, there's a cable in there, so we just pull the, pull the cable out and plug into oh, a yeah. wall. So that just goes into your normal? Yeah, yeah. just plug into a wall, put whatever socket on you need, industrial socket if necessary. Okay, simple enough. Great, should we have a look at the... Um, Inside then? Yeah, look at the controls. Yeah. Do you want to jump on board yeah, and I'll not? give you an overview? Nice. Okay, so this should be familiar for you. Yeah, exactly um, the same as a it's seven, just, isn't it? Yeah, just the same as, a, as a, an engine powered machine. Steering wheel, two pedals, joystick, mm -hmm. all your same switch gear and functions. Obviously the difference is you don't start an engine, so you turn the key um, and an electric motor will start up. Mm -hmm. that will just run the basic systems on the machine. The two pedals, as you squeeze a pedal, another motor starts up, which is your drive motor, which is then variable. So as you squeeze your pedal, your, your electric motor will spool up to different speeds to right. give you different output to your wheel motors. Okay. Very responsive and very smooth function from an electric machine. There's a lot of power and a huge amount of torque in the wheel motors compared to a, a standard diesel machine, because mm. the, the, the electric motors are so torquey. Okay. So all these controls are exactly the same, aren't they? What you'd, They're just you'd yeah, just the same as you'd see on, a, on another machine. Uh, we don't pit, we don't fit the multifunction joystick on a, an EZ model um, because the functionality is slightly slightly more basic. Okay. And what type of outputs do you get on the display here? Does okay, it, it give so, you obviously battery time and yeah, display will give us the, the, the usual information that we get um, with selecting different functions of the machine's drive and things like that. Yeah. You get on a diesel machine, but it will now give us um, obviously battery charge state how long the battery's got left to run. It will give us um, also battery drain and current drain for motor, so it'll tell us the percentage of power being used. Ah, right. um, if we squeeze a pedal, it'll say what percentage of power is being drawn for this drive system. If we put an attachment on the front power the attachment, again, it'll tell us the percentage of power being used by the attachment. Oh, so, so different, you can, different attachments will use yeah. obviously different power. Yeah, different. and then you can, you, can, you can aim to optimize your battery throughout the day by using the machine yeah. efficiently. Right. That's good, I suppose. It's, you're not just firing through like fuel. You just you can see that, you know, I'm going to get another. Um, if you're using it for an hour or so, and you see how much you've used, you think, well, if I keep going like this, I'm getting another hour in. Yeah, so and, and, and just like driving time. an electric car, there are, there are ways of uh, of being more efficient in the in, in, in how you use it. Mm. You know, 
that how you you do your inputs on your on your pedals and things like that. So you you, know, you can you can just use a little bit more a little bit less power by being a bit more sensitive. Mm. In addition to that, we've got a switch here that, that we don't have on our other machines, plus and minus basically on this switch. This is two different uh, maps for the motors. Right. So in the in the minus position, we've got an eco mode. Mm -hmm. So as you drive around, we'll be using. Uh, the motor will draw from the battery in a particular way to give us the best battery performance. Right. In the plus position power mode, we're now uh, gaining extra torque, extra power, a little bit extra speed in the drive. Great for hill climbing or for longer distance driving, right. uh, which will obviously use more power in the process. Yeah. Well, um, I've obviously noticed this here and I've seen a video where you've been hitting it with a, yeah. <laughs> a baseball bat. What can you tell us about the, so, the plastic uh, here? Yeah, obviously, um, the, the blue panels on our machines are a, are a, are a plastic material. Mm -hmm. um, and these grey ones are what we call rhino panel. So, um, yeah, this is really Rock strong bad. stuff, it's, tough it's stuff. Solid, isn't yeah. it? You've seen the video where uh, yeah, I've yeah. personally taken a baseball bat and beaten the living daylights out of one of these panels. Yeah. Um, and they just keep coming back for more. So this, this was basically our step forwards to take you know, the ruggedness yeah. uh, in, in, into yeah. the job site. Yeah, it makes yeah. it more robust. Yeah, it, yeah, hit that with logs or whatever you want. It's, yeah. it's, it's highly There's a prime area as well into here right at the front when you've yeah. got things that potentially fall. We're yeah. tending to put them on the light pods, the panel that sits under the boom, so if you were to drop something out of a, a grab or out of a bucket, it, and it hits that panel and just bounces off. Yeah. And then strategically to a customer's choice, you know, if, they, if yeah. they've got a particular panel that they like the idea of changing. Obviously from where I'm studying, sat, you can see the Attachment might be a silly question, but can it use all the same attachments as? Yeah, within reason. Um, all our machines take the same pickup point on the boom, the same multi connector for the hydraulics. Yeah. Um, but obviously, every model has got its own uh, maximum auxiliary flow rate that yeah. it will deliver. So a small machine will deliver less than a big machine. Obviously, the bigger the engine, the bigger the pumps, the more auxiliary flow rate we can drive through the hydraulics and the more powerful an attachment you can then run. Yeah. Uh, the big flow rates come into their own really for fast spinning and, and, and high torque attachments, um, mm. not so much for grabs and handling. Yeah. When you look at an electric machine, uh, if you want to run a high flow system on electric, you burn through battery power really fast. Right. So the EZ range is designed with, a with just the low flow system, not the high flow. Mm. This particular model will produce 37 litres a minute, which is enough to run uh, all the different grabs, a flail, a small stump grinder, um, you know, there's a number of things it can run, but we're limited. Yeah. Big, powerful stuff. You just don't have the battery power, you know, capability to, to drive that kind of, of attachment. Okay. So when's uh, when's this available, and how much would it cost? Okay, an EZ7 is is in stock now at the factory. The factory keeps stocks of all our machines. This is our demo machine for the UK. Mm. We've got an allocation of reserve stock also at the factory. So if you want one, when do you want it? You want one next week? Yeah, I've one. Yeah, why not? I'll have one, yeah. Same. <laughs> um, Price-wise, the, the retail price for this model, uh, as it stands, is just over £34,000 plus VAT. And at the moment, we're running it at incentive where we give uh, a value of attachments that you can choose from for free to add to it. Okay. Um, so you get a, yeah, get a, a good you know, a good bundle, if you like. Yeah. So you can obviously choose the attachment, which is um, right for your yeah, job role, yeah. whatever you want. And there's enough allowance to put back weights on and, and a bucket and forks and maybe maybe a few bits of extras on your machine. So there's, yeah. there's a fair allowance at the minute to add to that. All right, brilliant. Brilliant. Well, thank you for showing us around this machine. If we want to find out more about it, where can we find you online? And Go to the usual sources. Yeah. Just just go into Google and search Multi One UK. You'll find our website. You'll find uh, all the social media. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, MultiOneUK.com is actually our new website that's about to be launched. So uh, go take a look at that one. Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time. Pleasure.